Hi, I hope I am able to explain things in a reasonably simple and interesting manner. Just in case you have any doubts or queries, you can always connect with me. It will be a pleasure to explain things in more detail. Now in the previous lesson, we talked about a thing that an entrepreneur has to break the vicious cycle of poverty. Here in this lesson, we shall try and understand what that vicious cycle of poverty is and how does an entrepreneur break it. You see in front of you, this is that vicious cycle of poverty. It has got four constituents. You can start from any point. The cycle will not change. The four essential parts or the four essential constituents are the demand for the goods and services, production by the industry to meet the demand, then profit earned by the industry, and income in the hands of people. Let me explain. You look at it from any angle, whether at the national level, the country level, or the smallest level, consider that Maya Devi who was selling fruits. Even at her level, the concept remains the same. You see, there has to be a demand for goods and services. Maya Devi will bring fruits from the wholesale market only if there is a demand for her fruits. If there is no demand, she will not get it from the market. If there is no demand, industries will not produce. Farmer will not produce fruits, vegetables and grains. Isn't it? So if the demand is less, then the industry will produce less. Got the point? If there is no demand or if the demand is less for anything, any goods or services or fruits, vegetables, grains, whatever. If the demand is less, then the industry, the farmers will produce less. And when they produce less, then they will earn less profit. They will not grow. They will not diversify. They will earn less profit. And when they earn less profit, they will offer less employment. Employment will not grow. Industries will not grow. And when there is less employment, the income in the hands of the people will be less. Got the point? Unless there is demand, industry will not produce. If the industry does not produce, they will earn less profit. If there is less profit, then people will have less income in their hands. You look at it from any other angle. Let us see in the reverse direction. All right. See that demand cannot increase unless income in the hands of people increase. People will not come to buy fruits of Maya Devi unless they have money in their hands. People will not buy clothing, people will not buy car, people will not buy television unless they have money in their hands. Alright? And income or money cannot increase unless the industries make more profit, unless there is more employment. Got the point? And industries cannot make profit, cannot increase their profit, unless they increase their production, unless they produce more. But why will they produce more if there is less demand from the customers? So unless the customers increase the demand, the industry will not produce more. Isn't it? So therefore, this cycle is vicious. Whether you see it clockwise or anti-clockwise, the cycle restricts itself to poverty. To break this cycle, you require entrepreneurs. Not one, but millions of small entrepreneurs at the local level, right from the level of Maya Devi and that school teacher Janet and small, small industries. You require millions of such entrepreneurs to break this cycle of, people, of the cycle of poverty at their local, regional level. And ultimately, that cycle at the national level will break. Now, the question is, how will an entrepreneur break this vicious cycle?
what does he have to do to break this cycle one thing what he can do is an entrepreneur can increase demand how can he increase demand by developing new products new customers outside the local area outside their local region they can you see if they continue with what they are doing the demand will not increase they have to do something they have to develop some new product in a new manner in a new market and then the demand will increase another thing what they can do is they can increase the production by increasing or introducing cheaper and better technology all right they cannot just increase the production unless the demand increases but they can increase the production by introducing cheaper and better technology they can bring in new technology better raw material better quality that is how they can increase production and increase the demand then they can increase their profit how can they increase their profit by finding new and better ways of producing things better manufacturing technology better way of stocking the material better ways of shipping the material better ways of marketing and selling the material reducing the wastages increasing the efficiency of their production in all these manner the entrepreneurs can increase their profit and once they do that it will ultimately lead to increase in employment generation and increase in money in the hands of people and when money increases in the hands of people then people will automatically increase the demand for various goods and services got the point but what does an entrepreneur achieve by breaking this cycle we have seen what this vicious cycle is we have also seen how an entrepreneur can use his innovation ingenuity and all those qualities and break the cycle of poverty but the question is what does an entrepreneur get by breaking this cycle or breaking this vicious cycle of poverty we shall see that in the next lesson all right